Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. My dear brothers and sisters, today as we celebrate the feast of the martyrs, um, let us reflect something about suffering. Why God permits suffering in this world? We have discussed this topic many times in the past. But today, let's also reflect in a different way. The sufferings are there in everyone's life. Whether you are a priest or whether you are a layman, bishop or pope or rich man or poor man, everyone has got their own sufferings, their own struggles, their own problems. I have seen many people who seems to be very happy um, leading a good life, very good money, very good salary, very good family. So, but when we, sp so first impression is, oh, there's what wonderful family. But then when we speak to them personally, I've seen they all are going through tough times, struggles, tension, crisis, and pain, or something the other. And the moment they start uh, sharing, they start crying. So everyone has got suffering in this world. Why does God permit this suffering in this world? Why can't give God peace and happiness and joy so that let the people who live here on earth let them enjoy and be happy. So why can't God do that? So I used to ask this question. So the Lord wants to give us an answer to this. The answer is, suffering keeps this world from becoming too attractive. Suffering keeps this world from becoming too attractive. Sometimes we don't want to lose anything because we are so attached, so it is so attractive and so attached and it is so pleasurable. Therefore, we don't want to lose anything. We want to continue. Suppose if you have sufferings in, in, in certain places or certain uh, areas, you will just want to come out of that place or come out of that place, uh, uh, situation. So if the suffering is a sign, suffering is something that helps us to be detached to the world and be attract, attached to the heaven. We will wait for a moment of satisfaction, happiness and pleasure and peace. And that is available only in the heaven. Heaven becomes more meaningful because the world is becoming more suffering. When the world is full of suffering, the heavens becomes meaningful. For example, if I love this place, I am happy to be here, everything is peaceful, everything is happy and everything is set, uh, settled and everything, then I will have an attachment to continue in any place where you are a pointer or attached. But the moment you find that this is taking every peace of mind and disturbance and, cra and problems and that is when you will decide, desire for something where somewhere else where you can get some peace at least. So the world that is why the Lord permits, the Lord allows sufferings in this world. We read First Peter chapter 2 verse 11. First Peter chapter 2 verse 11 we read like this. The word, word of God says like this. Beloved, I urge you as aliens and exiles to abstain from the desires of the flesh that wage war against the soul. In this world, there is always desire of the flesh. There is always war against the soul. There is always confusion. There is always tension, misunderstanding. Therefore, we need to abstain from all these things. And that is when we will think of another home. Our home is not this. Our home is heavenly home. We are only temporary visitors who have come in the visiting visa. And we are all are supposed to leave this world. And this suffering helps us to think of God and heaven faster and more often. Let's read Hebrew chapter 13 verse 13 onwards. Hebrew chapter 13 verse 13 onwards. We read like this. Let us then go to him outside the camp and bear the abuse he endured and verse 14. For here we have no lasting city but we are looking for the city that is to come. In this, this is not a lasting city. Here we have no lasting city. Our city is in the heaven. Therefore, 
if you if there is no if, uh, suffering always happiness pleasure and joy then nobody will think of heaven no one wants to go to heaven no one wants to think about god and all these things will be rejected but because of suffering we think of god because of suffering we wants to go to heaven because of suffering we are imagining about a beautiful city that is waiting for us let's read second corinthians chapter 5 verse 1 onwards second corinthians chapter 5 5 verse 1 onwards we read like this we know that if the earthly tent we live in is destroyed we have a building from god a house not made with hands eternal in the heavens Do, the lord says if we know that if the earthly tent where we live this is not a house but it is only a tent tent means when you travel you settle for some days there somewhere and that is called tent what we are now where we live now this earthly life is only a tent this will be destroyed but bible says even if it is destroyed don't worry we have a building from god so there is a comparison between tent and building what the where you live today this earthly life is only a tent living but the heavenly life is building living living in a building a house not made by human hands but eternal house in heavens eternal house in heavens therefore the suffering makes us to focus on the eternal house that is waiting for us building waiting for us and we will we are ready to give up the tent that is with us let's read verse 2 continue reading we read like this for in this tent we groan in this tent in the on this earth we are groaning crying wounded hurt rejected sorrowful misunderstood blamed accused and now we are therefore we are longing to be clothed with our heavenly dwelling because in this tent we have all kinds of suffering therefore we are longing for the heavenly dwelling this is possible because of this suffering this suffering makes us to long for the heavenly dwelling suffering make you to long for heavenly dwelling verse 3 if i indeed if indeed when we have taken it off we will not be found naked so if this worldly tent is taken off we will not be found abandoned or naked because we have an eternal home verse 4 we read like this for while we are still in this tent see now we are in this tent we groan under a burden every day lots of burden one after the another burdens from a husband wife children parents and those who are around us those who are with us burdens because we wish not to be unclothed but to be further for the cloth so that what is mortal may be swallowed up by life and verse 5 we read like this he who has prepared for us for this very thing is god who has given us the spirit as a guarantee he has given the spirit already in us is a guarantee that we will go to heaven the holy spirit is the guarantee that we have a heaven and dwelling place verse 6 we read like this so we are always confident even though we know that while we are at home in the body we are away from the lord if anybody feel at home in the body then that means you are away from the lord verse 7 for we walk by faith not by sight praise the lord we walk by faith not by sight verse 8 we read like this yes we do have confidence and we would rather be away from the body and at home with the lord we would be away from the body so when the body is giving you burdens and and pain and suffering and all kinds of humiliations don't be attached to this body don't be attached to this tent but be with the lord there is a heavenly eternal dwelling wait waiting for you verse 9 we read like this so whether we are at home or away we make it our aim to please him verse 10 for all of us must appear before the judgment seat of christ to one day all of us you and me we all will come in front of the judgment seat of christ one day 
so that each may receive recompense for what has been done in the body whether good or evil therefore do not be attached to the body or the tent there is an eternal dwelling waiting for you praise the lord so suffering keeps this world from becoming too attractive that's the first point that we would like to disc- uh, uh, reflected and the second one if no suffering if there is no suffering no one will thirst for the eternal life if there is no suffering no one th- will thirst for god if there is no suffering no one wants a, pre- a person called god everyone will be enjoying their enjoyments nobody wants god so there is suffering is a clear sign there is a reality called god exist praise the lord suffering is a clear sign there is god exist because god has created the whole world in such a way that we all look forward and look thirsting for him praise the lord and then the third point that we need to remember if there is suffering we will be grateful to god if there is suffering we will be grateful to god for example one person who was introducing his her children and she told me father this is my first child and uh, he is uh, he is exactly like me and he is very good he is very studious very brilliant like me and he is very good uh, singer like me so all the she was talking all these things about the first child and then she showed a small child and the first one was a grown up maybe around uh, 14 years of age but the second child was only uh, maybe 5 or 6 uh, years of age and then she said father this child is a gift of god then i asked her first one you said it is your child and your all everything is of like you but then the second child you said it's a gift of god why do you say that then she said father after the first child we were waiting for a second child nothing happened we were praying 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 went to many places went to many di- uh, uh, different retreat centers at the end god blessed us with the second child after so many years of prayer and therefore we call him all gift of god first one their own gift second one god's gift because second one they got after long time of prayer and suffering now they are grateful to god the first one i have not seen that grateful the same amount of gratefulness because they got it so easily after within one year of marriage they got the child so they didn't see they didn't experience any pain in getting that child but the second one they got it after long times of suffering so now they are thanking god for it my dear brothers and sisters this is human tendency where there is suffering we will be slowly grateful to god i've seen people giving testimonies oh lord thank you father for prayers and we join and we receive blessings god has blessed us god has healed us god is true we have to testify but at the same time what about those blessings which we receive without any suffering we should be grateful to god for that too but suffering in fact makes us to be grateful grateful to god if there is no suffering we take everything for granted just like this lady who took the first child for granted second child is considered as a gift of god because the first child has there was no suffering attached to it but second child there was suffering attached to it when there is suffering we are grateful to god when there is no suffering we take everything for granted even blessings will be taken for granted so this is the the ne- uh, next point the fourth point and then fifth point is because of suffering we will depend on god suffering makes us depending on god because we go to the hospital as soon as you have a pain or sickness immediately you will use some medicines home remedies but if it is not working you will go to the clinic if it doesn't work then goes to the hospitals and then super speciality hospitals the expert doctors at the end doctor said now i cannot do anything and then you say god jesus have mercy see at the end when because of this suffering now you are asking god's help otherwise there is paracetamol there is a local clinic pharmacy or medical shop or maybe some other hospitals but when there is terrible sufferings there is no hope then we will cry out to god 
suffering makes us to depend on god praise the lord thank you jesus and the last point because of suffering through suffering we are getting purified suffering makes us purified through suffering god is purifying us my dear brothers and sisters every time when there is a suffering in my life i thank god for it because there are lots of purification i am in need of and the lord is using those sufferings to purify me and that is the consolation that you experience even in the moments of suffering and crisis praise the lord thank you jesus